boxing fans, it looks like Canelo Alvarez will take on Dimitri Bivol at a catchweight for the WBA light heavyweight title. And I know that you guys, like myself, wanted to see the undisputed showdown between Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant, but negotiations did not go well between the two. And I really don't want to get into the politics of that, but the word out is that Canelo Alvarez ducked Caleb Plant. And the whole situation is just very confusing because there's no ducking Caleb Plant and then going up to fight Dimitri Bivol. And Caleb Plant came forth with a statement about the issues that they were having in negotiations, to which he stated, Canelo was offered the highest guarantee of his career. He was set to make $40 million plus Mexican TV rights and his Hennessy sponsorship. No problem, let's fight. We gave it to him. Then they wanted upside of gate and pay-per-view revenue. No problem, let's rumble. It was always agreed that it was a unification, no rematch for either fighter. Towards the end of negotiations, they asked for a rematch when they lose. No problem, you can have the rematch as well. I just want to fight. We tried to give him everything he wants and more to make this fight. And Canelo Alvarez has yet to come forth with a statement on what happened in negotiations between him and Caleb Plant. And that has only led people to speculate. And Canelo's alternative isn't a bad fight at all. But it most definitely won't have the same prestige and lineage that an undisputed contest would have. And it has been one of Canelo's lifelong dreams and goals to be undisputed. So why walk away from it now when you're only one step closer? But switching gears. I want to talk about this Dimitri Bivol fight. I don't know much about Dimitri Bivol, but what I'm hearing is that he's a very dangerous boxer. And for what I've seen, he likes to fight on the front foot and he likes to impose his will on his opponent. He uses sort of an in and out style and he throws combinations as well. And if you're not paying attention, a lot of his shots can be very short and compact. And as for his defense, I haven't really seen anything special, but he likes to keep a very high guard to neutralize a lot of the power coming from his opponent. Bivol is 18 and 0 with 11 KOs, and he stands at six feet with a 72 inch arm reach. And Canelo is 56, one and two with 38 KOs. And he stands at five foot eight with a 70 and a half inch arm reach. So right here, we can definitely see that Bivol is the bigger man in height and reach, but Canelo definitely outweighs him in the record department. But Bivol has been tested and proved himself against the best at 175 against the likes of Gene Pascal and Joe Smith, who is currently a champion at 175, the WBO champion to be exact. But when I look at Bivol and what he does in the ring and what he brings to the ring and his underwhelming record and experience, I have no doubt that Canelo Alvarez will beat this guy. And I am aware that he had a decorated amateur background being 268 to 15. But when you're facing the likes of Canelo Alvarez, who has so much experience in the pros, it's a different ball game. But Bivol does have a style that can present a lot of issues for Canelo Alvarez. He does use his feet. He has fast hands. He is pretty hard. He throws combinations and he's the physically bigger man. But Canelo once again wants an advantage over his opponent, winning this fight at a catch weight, which that will result in Bivol being drained. And what I don't understand is how is the WBA light heavyweight title, which is 175, how will that belt be on the line if this is going to be at a catch weight? And Canelo is a great fighter, arguably the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, but he's very manipulative when it comes to doing things like this. And if you let him, you'll be in big trouble. And that's probably why negotiations with Caleb Plant did not go as planned because Caleb Plant was not having it. Although he stated that he gave Canelo everything he wanted, but Canelo just wanted more. I don't know how true the statement is that Caleb Plant released, but what I do know is it definitely adds up to the manipulative character of Canelo Alvarez. And I was really looking forward to seeing Canelo Alvarez take on Caleb Plant. I do not want to see this Dimitri Bivol fight. Everyone knows that a fight with Caleb Plant makes the most sense because you're one belt away from making history, becoming the first super middleweight undisputed the champion of the world but for whatever reason canelo alvarez is pursuing a catch weight fight with the wba light heavyweight champion dimitri bivol and in the comment section below you let me know if you think this fight will happen make sure you leave a like follow me on my social media platforms facebook twitter and instagram and thank you for watching